Hello, Hammy Time here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I help keep my hamster Gimli warm on really cold days using this little fleece hut that I made. Gimli's not a chewer, so fleece is safe to use for him. So this winter we had several really cold days and the room that Gimli is in is over the garage which isn't heated so the room can get a little chilly sometimes. We run a space heater during the day but not at night for safety reasons. I noticed that on cold days Gimli wasn't active during his usual times. He stayed in his nest until I warmed the room enough with a heater and then he would come out. I was worried that he wasn't warm enough in his bedding at night so I thought to make a fleece hut that would help hold in his body heat like a blanket. The hut would simply be an option for him that he could choose to use or not. He has several nest options to choose from so if he needed an extra warm nest then he would have one. I made the hut out of some old fleece pajama pants and a quarter inch thick quilting batting. I made a pattern from paper. Here are the dimensions of my pattern which is for small dwarf hamsters. I would need to make a bigger pattern for a Syrian hamster. My guess would be to add a couple of inches for a Syrian. I cut out two pieces of fleece and one piece of batting for each pattern piece. I placed two pieces of fleece together on top of the piece of batting and pinned them all together. I machine stitched all around leaving enough of an opening so I could turn it inside out. Once I had all my pieces turned inside out, I then top stitched them with my machine. The top stitching isn't really necessary, but it does help to keep the fabric in place. Once I had all of my pieces, I hand stitched them all together. I could have used my machine, but hand stitching requires less seam allowance, and I could just stitch them right up. I definitely needed a thimble to help push the needle through. So when I was done, I introduced it to Gimli by carefully setting it inside his cage. He immediately ran over and attacked it. Gimli is very territorial about his cage and he attacks everything. He used to attack the water bottles when I changed his water in the morning. So to try to be less invasive, I took out a hideaway and put the hut in its place. A short time later when I checked on it, I found it flipped upside down. I checked it for damage and there was none, so I put it back in knowing that he just needed to get used to it being there. Every day I would frequently check it for any damage and then finally one morning I went to check on him and he was inside the hut. He had stuffed it with a bunch of his bedding and made a nest in it. That morning it was really cold outside, it was about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. So now he's in the hut most of the time and always on cold days. If the house feels cool in the morning when I get up, I know exactly where to find him. So he seems to really like it. Gimli has two of these huts, so when one goes in the wash, I'll have a fresh one to replace it. I wash it weekly. So that's how I help keep him warm. If you make one for your hamster, you'll need to test it out first. Check it frequently for damage every day, and if you see any signs of chewing, you'll need to remove it. If your hamster is a chewer, then fleece is not a good option for you. You can help your hamsters stay warm by giving them extra bedding for their nests, such as shredded toilet tissue. Thank you for watching.